Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for Tackle My TBR. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thanks go to all of you for your continued support of my channel. Um, I really appreciate all of you. So, what did I read last week? Well, we started out with Hunting Evil by Chris Carter. Um, this is book number 10, and I've only got a couple more to go. I, I don't know, I don't remember if Genesis is 12 or 13, because Genesis I don't have yet. That's the, the, the most current book. Um, I'll have to check up on that, and I'll put it on the screen. Um, so anyway, in this book, uh, we're following Robert chasing a bad guy that he chased before, Lucian Fulter. Really bad dude, and Lucian is playing this game, and Robert has to stay one step ahead, or try to. Um, as you know from me talking about it, Robert is very smart. He's a criminal behaviorist um, detective, and... Um, he can read people really well. He knows the moves and stuff like that. Well, that's what he has to be really good at in this story because Lucian likes to play games. And he starts out with asking a question that Robert has to solve. And then if he figures that out, he has to solve a riddle to save the next victim. So, very good. Very intense. As you guys know, I love these books. I love Chris Carter's writing. I love the intensity. Um, I love that, you know, the adrenaline just pumping through your veins because you want Robert to, to get there in time and all that good stuff. Um, it's it's so, he, his character, Robert Hunter, is just brilliant. And the writing is brilliant and amazing. And every time you read a new case, those are also very brilliant and amazing as well. So, I'm not going to keep rambling on about this. I do it every single time. Do yourself a favor, though, and start with the Robert Hunter Thriller series. The second book that I read uh, last week was Dead Ground. This is by M. W. Craven. This is book number four in the Washington Poe series. I haven't read one in a long time, so I figured it was time to read it. I think there's one or two more. Um, also in this one to read. I don't know if this is an ongoing series or not. Um, in this one, I I didn't really enjoy it as much. Um, I really do enjoy Washington Poe and Tilly. Um, those are the two main detectives um, in the series. In this one, they got to follow a lead to a brothel where a man was beaten with a bat. There is a lot going on in this book, just to let you guys know. And I think that's you know, part of the issue I had with it, trying to keep everything straight, um, and it got quite political. So, um, yeah, I didn't care for that too much either. Uh, it, it wrapped up okay, you know, and the flow was not just like it usually is. It just wasn't um, real quick flow. It just it slowed down a little bit, and I really, I really want to have a book that just really gets me. You know, and gets me going and trying to solve things. And I, you know, there were parts that, you know, I was like, oh, maybe that guy or this guy, you know, that I'm not saying that that wasn't in there, but it just, it was more slow going, figuring it out. So I rated it three and a half stars. Um, of course, I can't always get five stars like Chris Carter's does, but um, yeah, three and a half stars. It was okay. I mean, it's, it's worth the read to continue with the series um, just because I like the characters. So. So then after that, I picked up Stolen Things by R.H. Heron. Um, in this book, we're following Laura. Um, she is a 911 operator, and she gets a call, and on the other end is her daughter. Her daughter, Jojo, is very disoriented. She doesn't know where she's at. She starts to put little things together. Um, Kevin Leeds, is, she was at his house. They were doing something, but it wasn't a party, and he is... A uh, football player she remembered that and her friend is missing so her mother and her have to try or they're trying to figure out what this mystery is um, so looking forward to the to, to getting into the nitty-gritty of the story 
I'm not very far. I think it's chapter chapter five, and the and the chapters are very short. So, um, really enjoyed it so far. But I think that this is going to end up being a really good story. I'll probably finish this in a couple of days, especially if I go ahead and get it on my Kindle. So we'll see. But yeah, really enjoying this one. I've had it for probably almost a year. I believe my sister was here last October is when I got this, and I figured it, you know it was sitting on my shelf saying yoohoo. So I decided to pick it up and go with it. So that is what I read last week. Have you guys read any of these books? If you have, let me know in the comments below or let me know what you what you read. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.